Good evening. I'd like to begin by thanking the Spencer Educational Foundation for selecting me as a recipient of the New York, RIMS New York Chapters Dante Patrizio Memorial Scholarship for supporting the Anita Benedetti Student Involvement Program that allowed me to attend the 2016 RIMS Conference and for the honor of addressing you tonight. I'd also like to congratulate tonight's honorees, Louis Iglesias and Chris LaSala. Your contributions to insurance education are inspiring and are making a true difference. The Spencer Scholarship is especially meaningful to me. I started my college education at St. John's, unsure I would be able to complete it. I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, a country that was once one of the most prosperous in Africa, but in recent years has been plagued by political and economic troubles and is now often ranked on the list of the poorest. For as long as I can remember, I was the overachiever in my family of five children. I excelled in all my classes, signed up for every activity and sport I could squeeze into my schedule, and enthusiastically volunteered for leadership positions in school clubs. I really enjoyed working hard and pushing myself, and I was inspired by successful businesswomen. My ultimate dream was to get accepted into and to attend a top university in the United States. My parents always encouraged me and told me, if you work hard and never give up, nothing can get in your way. In 2009, however, when I was in the ninth grade, I came face to face with the reality of living in a country with such instability. Zimbabwe's economy collapsed. Our inflation topped out at 79 billion percent per month. And while many families we knew packed up and left the country, my parents decided to stay and wait for things to improve. They were out of savings since our currency was worthless. They were out of work as there was no demand for architectural services. One semester when tuition became due, my parents could only pay school fees for one child. I had to miss a few weeks of school while my younger siblings missed the entire semester altogether, as our older sister was, understandably, given preference. It was a tough time for my family, and it hit me then that I may not be able to achieve my dream of receiving a top college education. I knew I would have to work hard to win merit-based scholarships. If Zimbabwe was brought to a standstill again while I was in college, what options did I have? In my final year of high school, while doing research, I discovered that St. John's University was one of the few schools generous with financial aid to international students. I also discovered, thankfully, their risk management and insurance program. I knew that the major would interest me, as my two favorite classes in high school were math and business studies. I was also particularly drawn to the fact that insurance is so integral to the functioning of society. An article I read described the risk management industry as the single most important value add to businesses and individuals. I was excited to enter the, the field and be part of protecting society. I was accepted to St. John's with a very generous scholarship, and although I still had a significant balance to cover, my parents have worked tirelessly to help make my dreams a reality. When I began my college career, I learned of all the different paths that a risk management and insurance major could take. I was hopeful that I would be able to meet a few professionals who could, and who could offer career advice. I could not have imagined just how much support, encouragement, and mentoring I would receive in just a few short years. From the hardworking team at the School of Risk Management that seek to provide students with the best opportunities possible, to my amazing internship at Aspen Insurance, where I've interned for the past year, to meeting professionals like yourselves, who are always so eager to provide guidance, and to the opportunities I've received from the Spencer Foundation. I found that this industry has so much to offer young professionals. The economic and political situation in Zimbabwe is deteriorating again this year. But thanks to your generosity, I don't have to worry that 2009 will repeat itself and my education will be disrupted. The Spencer Scholarship is help helping alleviate the remaining financial burden of my education from my parents' shoulders. I look forward to graduating in 2017 and I want to thank all those who have helped me along, my, along the way. My parents, my family, educators at St. John's, colleagues at Aspen, the RIMS New York chapter, and the Spencer Educational Foundation. I am extremely grateful 
for your support, and I look forward to being in your shoes and supporting and encouraging students like me in the future. Thank you.